Greetings from Mission Control Houston and welcome to Space Station Live. It's Tuesday, October 22nd, 2013. You're joining us here inside of the International Space Station Flight Control Room located at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Leading the team today inside the room is Flight Director Mike Lammers and right next to him there at the Capcom position serving as our communication link with the astronauts in space is Canadian astronaut Jeremy Hansen, an astronaut selected back in 2009. And the crew that he'll be talking to, Expedition 37 on board the International Space Station. Right now, uh, the six-person international crew being led by Russian cosmonaut Fyodor Yurchikin, veteran space flyer on his fourth flight there in the front row on the left. Behind him, NASA astronaut Karen Nyberg and European astronaut Luca Parmitano. Those three have been on board the International Space Station since May 28th. Over on the right side, three newer crew members on board. Two Russian cosmonauts, Oleg Kotov and Sergei Rosansky, and also NASA astronaut Mike Hopkins. Major task for the crew today uh, saw them say farewell to a visiting vehicle, uh, the first of uh, the first visiting vehicle from Orbital Sciences, the Cygnus craft, uh, was loaded with trash and then released from the uh, Earth-facing port of the Harmony module earlier this morning. Uh, with that Canada robotic arm being controlled by flight engineers Luca Parmitano and Karen Nyberg. The craft was unberthed from Harmony at about 5.05 a.m. Central Time and then released from the arm uh, a little over an hour and a half later at 6.31 a.m. Central Time while the station was flying just about 262 miles over the southern Atlantic just to the east of Argentina. Shortly after uh, that release, the thrusters on board the Cygnus fired to enable the craft to uh, depart the vicinity of the International Space Station, uh, where it will then uh, reach a safe distance and then be commanded by orbital flight controllers to do a uh, deorbit engine firing tomorrow at a, around 12.41 uh, p.m. Central Time. This will then send the craft through its uh, destructive reentry through the Earth's atmosphere. The craft, uh, which docked uh, back on September 29th, delivered about 1,300 pounds of supplies to the International Space Station crew. So aside from that Cygnus activity, uh, quite a bit of experiment work taking place on board the International Space Station today, starting off with NASA astronaut Mike Hopkins, who uh, earlier this morning was assisting in all those Cygnus operations, checking out the vestibule pressure between uh, the craft and uh, Node 2, or Harmony, uh, as that was installed and uh, activated uh, earlier on last night. Aside from that, uh, Mike Hopkins gathering up uh, some of the tools for the station's EMUs, or the extravehicular mobility units used by uh, U.S. and uh, international partner astronauts uh, out of uh, U.S.-based uh, spacewalks. And also working today with the capillary flow experiment. You can see a live view of that here. Uh, the capillary flow uh, fluid physics experiment. Uh, quite a few uh, iterations of this on board the International Space Station, ongoing investigation into uh, various fluid delivery systems that are used in microgravity, uh, so we will be able to uh, check in on that progress throughout the hour today. Moving on, European astronaut Luca Parmitano, uh, first thing this morning was busy setting up the Earth Cam, uh, the Earth knowledge acquired by middle school students' uh, camera. It's a camera used by uh, middle, middle school students around the world to request images of specific locations on Earth. They're completing a mission this week, and uh, you can uh, check out that website that we just flashed up uh, on the screen if you want to learn more about it and get involved. Again, that uh, website, www.earthcam.ucsd.edu. That mission taking place this week starting today, October 22nd, and going through the end of the week, October 25th. Aside from that, Parmitano uh, uninstalling that Cygnus craft and uh, at the controls of the space station robotic arm alongside with Karen Nyberg today. Uh, Parmitano and Nyberg were responsible for installing the craft once it uh, arrived to the station and uh, completing their mission with it uh, today, saying farewell one last time. Parmitano also uh, getting into some experiment work himself, setting up the binary colloidal alloy test. Uh, the one that they'll be working on this week, uh, studying nanoscale particles dispersed in liquid. Uh, these uh, fairly uh, complex uh, particles uh, commonly found in a lot of commercial commodities down here on Earth. Uh, just a few to be named uh, paint, electric polishing compounds, and also various food products. 
Moving on, NASA astronaut Karen Nyberg uh, was responsible for a lot of the setup work, getting ready to uh, detach that Cygnus vehicle, configuring both uh, the Destiny Laboratory and the Cupola's robotic workstations, uh, where they control the Canada Arm Tour, the Space Station robotic arm, uh, for that deberthing and release of the Cygnus craft. Uh, she was also in charge of setting up the hardware command panel uh, for the Cygnus vehicle, enabling the crew to send any uh, commands necessary to the Cygnus vehicle during its uh, deberthing operations. She was also uh, demating the common berthing mechanism, uh, attaching the uh, craft to the International Space Station, and uh, operating that uh, station robotic arm alongside Parmitano. One of her other major tasks for the day, uh, working with the resist tubule experiment, uh, familiarizing herself uh, with the operations that will be uh, required for that. It takes place inside of the Japanese experiment module and is a uh, Japanese-sponsored uh, experiment on board the station looking to uh, investigate the mechanisms of gravity resistance in plant growth. Over on the Russian side of the International Space Station, uh, Expedition 37 Commander Fyodor Yurchikin doing a lot of maintenance work on uh, Russian uh, air and revitalization systems. He's in the Zvezda service module uh, doing some ventilation system preventative maintenance, some routine work uh, on the systems there before moving over into the Zarya module, cleaning out a number of the detachable uh, ventilation screens. His Russian colleague Oleg Kotov is gathering up some EVA equipment and tools for an upcoming spacewalk that he'll have uh, on November 9th with uh, the other Russian cosmonaut, Sergei Rozansky. Uh, aside from that, he's taking a few uh, readings from the Russian Matryoshka experiment, which an ongoing investigation into uh, radiation monitoring for these astronauts. Also uh, participating in the Russian Motocard experiment study of nature of locomotion disturbances for these astronauts in long-term space flights. He'll be on uh, one of the treadmill systems on board the station for that. And the final uh, crew member on board, Sergei Rosansky, doing uh, a lot of that uh, spacewalk preparation alongside Oleg Kotov, also doing some uh, routine crew handover activities and assisting Kotov in his experiment work throughout the day.